playing trade guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John Natsack behind the camera, and this is Playing Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Checking out the brand new Paul Reed Smith SC Zach Meyer semi hollow guitar today. I'm really excited to do that because it's got some high end features at a low price point of $849. And it's got some vintage aesthetic and vibe, some great, great characteristics. We're going to put this on the bench and take it apart. We're going to talk full specs. Of course, we're going to plug it in and play it. But at the top, if you're in the market for any new guitar gear or the Zach Myers SE, use our purchase link in the description. It supports us directly when you buy using our link. We're also close to giving away that Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul and we have 50,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and sign up on Gleam. Let's go dive into the full specs on the bench before we play it. It's nice and lightweight. It's not gonna break your back. It's gonna give you that semi hollow tone. Lots of great things going for it. Let's figure out if it's worth your money and head over to the bench. We've got that signature three on a side, Paul Reed Smith headstock with the matching veneer, which is really cool. That's uh, the Zach Meyer signature blue. I love that. We got a mahogany neck. This is gonna be a wide, thick carve on this neck. Flipping around, star of the show here again is that Zach Meyer's blue. It's gorgeous. The way that they do this, it is a maple top, but they use a veneer to get that super flamey look on this guitar. Uh, not to skip the rosewood because man, what a beautiful piece of rosewood. A lot of beautiful rosewood what we're seeing out of the right out of the boxes from Paul Reed Smith, the bird inlays, binding on the fretboard, bound body as well. And then just a really cool single cutaway. You got a shallow violin carve on the arched top and then the single F hole. And this is a semi hollow guitar, so you're going to get that great punch. Pickups here are a set of 245S humbuckers. And then you have these cool clear knobs that fit the aesthetic as well, I think. And uh, standard volume, volume, tone, tone, no coil splitter, anything like that. You can check out this adjustable wraparound tail piece, which is a nice upgrade. Gives you a little bit more adjustment over your traditional wraparound stop bar. And it's kind of more vintage spec. It actually kind of borrows from the McCarty guitar because the scale length on this guitar is 24.594. A little shorter than a Gibson, certainly shorter than a Fender. Um, and even shorter than many of the Paul Reed Smith models, which are at 25 inches for the scale length. This nut reads in at 1.68 inches wide, first fret at 0.83 inches, up to a 12th fret of 0.92 inches. 2.05 inches on the thickness. Construction is fantastic as I just run my fingers down. We don't have any sharp edges or anything like that. Nice bound fretboard. You can see the set of 245S humbuckers. You can also see that mahogany body center block, uh, maple center block, maple cap. 8.5 bridge, 7.7 .7 neck, 4.0 combined. And also it should be pointed out that they do have a gloss poly on the body and on the back of the headstock, but if you look close, it's actually not gloss on the neck itself. So it's giving you more of a satin feel on this wide fat neck, which I love the feel of a satin neck. So I think that's pretty sharp. You've got these um, 500K alpha import pots, everything hand wired and a shielded cavity as well. Big selling point of this guitar is it's super lightweight. Six pounds, 11 ounces, we'll call it 6.75 pounds. All right, flipping guitar up and around for an initial reaction here. I mean, the great thing about a semi-acoustic guitar is it's nice and loud unplugged. Good resonance to the guitar. Um, great neck shape. I'm somebody who prefers a thicker neck and I like this wide fat neck profile a lot. It feels great. And also I can't stress enough that while it's a gloss poly, you have a satin feel on the neck. I think that's a smart design as well. Tons of high end features in this guitar. So it feels great. Remember, if you're in the market for a guitar like this or any gear, use our purchase link in the description. That supports us directly when you buy using our link, and we really appreciate that. It's time to have some fun and plug this guitar in. I'll start with some direct clean tones. We'll get a riff cranked up, and then I'll fire it up behind a track, and you can hear it singing in context.
All right, the SE Zach Myers from Paul Reed Smith. First of all, I am blown away by the construction, top shelf components and features. I mean, everything from the small details like this nice um, adjustable wraparound tailpiece, which is a high end upgrade to this beautiful piece of rosewood to that fat wide neck. Um, everything about this guitar from the way it's put together is super top notch, especially for $849 and it does include a gig bag. If you compare it to anything else out in the market for a semi hollow in that price range, you'll be very, very happy with the way that this guitar responds and is put together. Um, some of the cons, it has a slightly thicker neck that some people might want. If you prefer a slim taper neck, I would stay away from this fat wide neck. Um, also, some kind of hallmark things about Paul Reed Smith, like a trem or a 24th fret, you won't find on this guitar. This has a little bit more of an influence from uh, maybe a Gibson style guitar or the McCarty vibe with the shorter scale length. The pickups I'm not entirely crazy about, but you know, with these humbuckers, it wouldn't be hard to replace them with something else if you weren't happy. But overall, I think if you're looking for a quirky chambered semi-hollow sound that doesn't sound exactly like a 335, but gives you some of that big, warm, open vintage vibe, this is a great way to go at 849. Would love to know what you think. Let us know what other guitars you want to see featured on the channel. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'm John, that's that guy on the camera. Of course, this is playing trade guitars where we play it and trade it. We'll see you guys next time.